Welcome to the Recycling Center here in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Recycling in Jackson is very different than recycling in many other communities. Follow me to learn more about what we do here. In Teton County, we are committed to reducing waste sent to the landfill. We call it the road to zero waste. What does that mean exactly? Our goal is to reduce waste by 60% by the year 2030. To date, about 30% of Teton County's waste is either reduced, reused, recycled, or composted. That's a great start, but we've got a lot of work to do. You can start recycling at one of our eight community sites located throughout Teton County. Which one is your favorite? At these community sites, you will find an area to recycle these common household materials. Organizing your recycling by material is called sorting. Sorting is what you do at the community sites. Thank you for doing that. Here's some other fun facts. Metal is infinitely recyclable. Metal can be recycled over and over and over again. Many communities around the world allow you to put all of your recycling in the same bin with no need to sort. That's called single stream recycling. Single stream is easy, but it creates a very dirty product that is hard to recycle. The way we recycle here in Teton County is called source separated recycling. Source separated creates a much cleaner product that is easier to recycle and is in higher demand. Once you sort your materials at the community sites, they come here to the recycling center. They're then unloaded into larger containers. Once we have enough recyclables, they're put onto the conveyor belt and sorted by staff again. Recyclables are dumped onto the conveyor belt, which is a long, slow-moving piece of rubber. It moves the recyclables past staff who pick out the trash piece by piece. Recyclables go up the conveyor belt until they fall into the baler. The baler is an extremely powerful machine that smashes the recyclables down into neat cubes that you see all around the warehouse. Those are called bales. Once we have enough bales, we have a semi-truck come and pick up the bales to be taken to the recycling facility. Just because an item has the recycling symbol on it doesn't mean it's recyclable everywhere. Some people really want their yogurt tubs to be recycled, so they put them in the recycling bin. We call that wish cycling. What that creates is contamination. Contamination is anything that isn't recyclable here, or more simply, contamination is trash. Recycling staff spend most of their days picking contamination out of the recycling by hand. Let's take a look at the materials that we find the most contamination in. Here we are at the plastics bin where we find most of the contamination. The number one and number two bottle bins should only have plastic bottles in them, meaning the mouth of the bottle is smaller than the base of the bottle. Things like berry containers, salad containers, and yogurt tubs should all be reused if possible and then put in the trash. Plastic bottles have the highest recyclability, thus the highest value. Plastic bottles retain their strength and flexibility, making them the easiest to be recycled. All other shapes of plastic are rigid and very difficult to recycle. It can be really confusing, especially when berry and salad containers are marked with a number one. Just remember the bottle trick. And as always, give your plastic bottles a quick rinse to remove any food residue before recycling. Leftover food attracts critters to the recycling center, creates an unsafe work environment for staff, moldy food and leftover chemicals, yuck, and is considered contamination by recyclers. Plastic bottles may be recycled once or twice before they are no longer recyclable. When the number one and number two plastic bins are full at the community sites, they are dumped into the big blue cage. We have number one plastics on one side and number two plastics on the other side. And each side makes one bale of plastic. And our staff sorts plastics once a week. Here's another fun fact. There are over 30,000 aluminum cans in just one bale of aluminum. Next. Let's look at cardboard. We get so much cardboard here at the Recycling Center. Three days a week, all day long, we sort and bale cardboard. 
We also see a lot of contamination in the cardboard. Again, it can be confusing. Corrugated cardboard and brown paper are the only accepted items in this bin. Corrugated means that it has to have waves or ridges in between the layers, even if they're small. Don't worry if your box has a picture on it. It's okay. Brown paper, like grocery store bags, are also other accepted material. Contamination that we find frequently are egg cartons, cereal boxes, and drink containers. These are all considered paperboard and material at the end of its life. When paperboard ends up in the recycling process, it turns into a sludge and is thrown away because the fibers are too short and weak. Corrugated cardboard has long fibers and can be recycled five to six times before it is turned into paperboard for its last life cycle. Remember to look for the waves or ridges when trying to figure out if something is corrugated and recyclable. Recycling is really important to our community and to the world. It reduces litter, reduces waste going to the landfill, creates jobs, and reduces the amount of virgin material needed to create new packaging or products. However, it's even more important to remember the other R's first. Reduce. Lessen your usage of single-use items like plastic straws, coffee cups, and to-go containers. Buy in the bulk section. Turn off lights and be mindful of water usage too. What other ways can you reduce? Reuse. Find ways to use things again instead of paper towels to clean your house or dry your hands. Use a cloth towel that you can wash over and over again. Use a reusable water bottle instead of single-use plastic. Sustainable choices can be simple and easy. Thank you for reducing, reusing, recycling, and composting whenever you can. Together, we can all make Jackson Hole a more sustainable community.